Autocorrect is a great feature when it's working correctly. It checks and corrects your spelling as you type on your iPhone and iPad. However, at times, it's the bane of my existence. Autocorrect sometimes types the wrong words or replaces words you type with words that don't even make sense. Fortunately, you can reset your iPhone and iPad vocabulary and teach autocorrect to spell properly again. That's what this video is all about. Thanks for joining me on this week's Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, now's a good time. Turn on that notification bell too so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Autocorrect is on by default on your iPhone or iPad. However, if you've turned it off, here's how to enable it again. You'll come in to the Settings app. You'll tap on General. You'll select Keyboard. And then just make sure that the toggle switch next to Auto Correction is turned on. While we're inside the keyboard settings, we'll also want to make sure that check spelling is turned on. With auto correction and check spelling turned on, words you misspell will be corrected. However, if auto correction is off, the spell check feature will flag spelling mistakes and make it easy for you to notice and correct them. You'll also want to make sure that you toggle on predictive. The predictive text feature shows you words you may type next so that you can quickly finish a sentence in fewer taps. If you've been using your device for a long time, your dictionary might become unmanageable. So if you're seeing words that you're typing that seem incorrect, you can always reset the iPhone or iPad dictionary. This may seem like a severe move, but all you're doing is removing custom words and typing rules that your iPhone has picked up since you've started using it. To reset your dictionary, you'll come into the Settings app, you'll tap on General, you'll scroll down to the very bottom of the page and select Transfer or Reset iPhone, select Reset, and now you'll see an option to Reset Keyboard Dictionary. Once you click on that, you'll be asked to enter your passcode, and now you'll just choose Reset Dictionary. Since Apple doesn't allow you to edit the dictionary directly, you'll need a workaround to fix words corrected erroneously. For example, were and well are being updated to were and well. If you automatically accept this change by tapping on the space bar, if you go to the delete key in the lower right corner, you'll see that a bubble will appear uh, with the correct spelling that you want to use. Go ahead and tap on the bubble and your change will be reverted. This may also teach your iPhone that it is unnecessary to correct this word, that this is the way you want it spelled. You may need to make this correction several times for it to stick. If you have text replacement set up and specific phrases or random words are being expanded or corrected, here's how to manage that. You'll want to go ahead and open the Settings app, tap on General, select Keyboard, and then go ahead and choose Text Replacement, and then you'll want to delete whatever the word or phrase is that's causing you issues. And to do that, you'll just swipe to the left and you can keep on swiping and that will delete that particular phrase or word. Now, if you type that phrase or shortcut, your iPhone or iPad won't replace or correct it with something else. Just as you can remove replacement shortcuts, you can also add them to create commonly used phrases that you use often. Using the shortcut OMW for On My Way, your iPhone will automatically expand the shortcut to a word or phrase. So as you can see, if I tap on that and come into the area where I can edit it, you'll see that the phrase is On My Way, 
but the shortcut, all I have to type is OMW, and anywhere I type that phrase in a text area, it will expand that phrase so that I don't have to type out the full phrase. You can also use third-party keyboards like SwiftKey or TypeWise, which doesn't use Apple's dictionary. Instead, they come with their complete custom dictionary and learn your typing habits over time. Thankfully, there are several solutions to autocorrect problems. If teaching your iPhone or iPad is a hassle, you can always just turn the autocorrect feature off for a more free typing experience. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.